Hey guys, what's up? So, sorry for the fan noise. Let me turn this on real fast. And I wanted to make a video specifically about this TFT32 running the uh, dribble firmware. But this actually just came out a couple days ago. And part of my laser cutter project, I wanted to find a, an LCD that would actually work with the laser cutter dribble. And uh, I, I looked at a couple different things. I, I do actually have a, quite a few old LCDs laying around. And I actually stopped using I haven't used this one for about six months. And I'm actually glad I'm able to use it again, at least for something I can it's, be useful, like dribble. But yeah, take a look at that new firmware. Um, it's pretty awesome. You can move, home. But like I said, this is specific to dribble. I can move the Z motor back and forth. I can control the laser on and off, carving. So it's just like your typical TFT display. Except it has dribble, it generates dribble G code. So, if you're not familiar with this TFT32, then it's really it's not like a, a typical Marlin display. Like a typical Marlin display um, interfaces with Marlin, but it's not actually like a computer. Whereas this this device right here, this TFT32, actually has its own dedicated processor. That's actually an ARM processor, and so this is sort of like a like a mini computer, like a Raspberry Pi, and all it's doing is basically sending G code. It's loading G code, and it's just sending it to the actual device via serial port on this board right here. So if you look at that right there, it's a serial port that goes and communicates with the board directly with the processor. So um, I'll show you on how to, how I got the firmware on there, but yeah, it just came out a couple days ago and. I'm actually really stoked that I'm able to use my device again, so. Alright, power, cool features. Um, once I get the printer set up, the laser cutter, I mean, I'll be able to show you more features with this thing, but I just thought it was cool that they actually uh, came out with that, so. Okay, so what you see in front of you is the MKS uh, TFT page, and this actually supports all the different TFT modules. Um, this thing actually doesn't support all of them yet, but in that in this page, in this folder, MKS, TFT, CNC, you see two different zip files. You see the one for the TFT24 and the one for the TFT32. And actually, I became familiar with this when I started looking for Gerbil boards. MKS had released a thing called a DLC 2.0, and they were bundling it with this TFT24, and that's actually when I first saw this firmware. So they originally had released this firmware only for this display, and then a couple days ago, they decided to release it for this MKS32, which is my old 3D printer board. So, go ahead and download this and uh, come back. Alright, so once you've downloaded the uh, file, go ahead and unpack it, unzip it, and then within that folder, you should have this, this file right here. So, the quickest way to get this thing on your screen is just to copy all the files from this examples folder over to an SD card. So. All this stuff right here, just copy and paste that to an SD card. And then go ahead and insert it into your uh, TFT32 or 28 or 24, whatever one you have. And this will automatically upgrade the firmware and convert the uh, icons over. So thought this was pretty cool. I was able to uh, give new life to my uh, old display. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Yeah.